Hi, welcome. This has been a while coming. I'm making a power hacksaw, but I'm 3D printing most of the parts. As you can see here, this is the bearing holder. Yes, it's quite beefy. And uh, I'm 3D printing another one of these as of now. I actually didn't even clean, need to clean up the surfaces. The bearings press right in there. No problems. Um, the old threaded rod with nuts. I'm going to be sectioning this off to make it into axles for this. The hacksaw is going to mount onto the body like this. I'm 3D printing components here that will hold this parallel and proper. And uh, this is my gear DC motor. This is something that I picked up along the line. I have no idea where it came from. It was never used. It's a little abused here because it's been sitting in my junk box for a long time. But it's supposed to run on 24 volts. I have a 19 volt power supply that spins this at a pretty good clip. It's completely geared. It's got a very nice planetary gear set here. And uh, that planetary gear set will hopefully have enough grunt to move the saw back and forth at not a very high speed because I don't want to overheat the blade but I want it to cut nice and slow and give me precision right angles or I should say precision 90 degree cuts here so with that said I went through a little bit of expense the hacksaw I didn't actually go cheap on this one I bought a pretty decent one it's a Stanley I actually really like this hacksaw it's got a nice adjustment nut here but I did go cheap on the clamp you wouldn't believe how expensive these clamps can be but this is a $20 cheapie that to be quite frank is gonna do the job but it's like the precision of this is yeah it's about as precise as a wet noodle. I guess when you tighten it down, it will hold it to wherever you set it to. It's just, meh, crap. But hopefully it'll do the job. This board is going to get shortened to the length of the actual saw itself. With that said, this is the bearing holder that I printed out before. I'm printing out a second one of these, yes just as beefy and then once I get these printed out and I make the axles I'm gonna figure out the arm arrangement, the arm height, so on and so forth so I don't have to keep guessing. So hopefully on the next clip you're, you're gonna see this thing closer to completion and uh, here's the bearing holder itself. Not a bad design, huh? Quick sketch up part. It's pretty good. The this is not full wood. This is an IKEA table leg that was left over from a broken table and I'm recycling it. It's not the best material of choice, but eh, I had it laying around. Maybe I'll I'll upgrade it to a steel part at some point. So this is the nice thing about 3D printing. Um, the first version of the arm was this one and it was nowhere near being close so I 3D printed the second version which was a single bearing with a stick out rod and this thing kept slipping out but the length was right so this is the third version with dual bearings and a bolt and this I have a feeling is gonna work out much better so with that said one of the tricks that I do use being that I'm 3d printing stuff is I don't use thread locker on threads here what I do is I use a drop of ABS goop right on it and that actually acts like a very mild thread locker. You can break it free ver fairly easily, but it's not going to shake itself loose. I learned that through the 3D printer. So, up next is the saw actually finally working. Alright. 
so the saw is finally done and here it is I've already cut a piece of wood here and it's yeah I used some WD-40 because I needed to break in the actual um, clamp over here but uh, it leaves like almost a sanded finish which is awesome this is exactly what I was looking for and uh, this is how it functions yes it jumps around a little bit but uh, the reason it jumps around is because it's actually cutting wood it's not really meant to cut wood it needs a little bit more weight but at the end of the day I'm actually very very happy with this it's functioning as it should I see no reason not to continue on with it one last thing um, I'm gonna be sharing this in you imagine all these 3d printed parts I'm gonna share this with the world anybody who wants to recreate this can recreate this I'll add the bill of materials and the model number of all the parts that I used and uh, the only thing I ask is if you like it pass it on like it do whatever share it and uh, if you're seeing this for the first time there's a little subscribe button at the bottom of the video hit that it kinda helps plus um, you guys can come and check out uh, some more of my videos there will be more stuff coming soon a lot more stuff so have a great one guys